Welcome to episode 4 of this Houdini VEX series. Let's talk about built-in functions in VEX. A function contains instructions used to create an output from its inputs. It is indicated by parentheses. Houdini offers a large library of VEX functions. On the side effects docs under VEX, you can find a list with all of the available functions. You don't need to know all of them, but there are some very common ones you will use day by day. Let's start with maybe the easiest function, rand. Let's filter rand. Rand creates a random number between 0 and 1 from a seed. So the function takes one input and outputs a random number from 0 to 1. Let's try that in Houdini. We can create an attribute wrangle and set it to point. Now for each point we want to create a float attribute called pscale. It shall have a random number from 0 to 1 for each point. If we set the seed to 1, the random number for each point is the same. So we need to feed it a different seed value per point. That's where we can use point number. Now we have a different value for each point. You can see that this function needs an input and gives it an output in return. Let's take a look at another function. Fit01 takes the value in the range from 0 to 1 and shifts it to its corresponding value in a new range. Let's fit our random 0 to 1 value to a value we like. The fit01 function needs three inputs, a value and a minimum value and a maximum value, and outputs the fitted value for us. Remember arguments in a function needs to be in this in its parentheses and divided by a comma. Always take a look at the data type of the argument required. Let's take a look at another function developed to create geometry. Add point has two variants and each requires two inputs. The first one creates an input with a given point number and the second with a given position. GeoHandle defines a handle to the geometry to write to. In this case, it is zero, meaning the current geo node. Let's define a vector variable first, and now let's add a point in space with this function. In a later episode, we will also take a look at writing our own functions. But for now, let's continue with the next episode, channels.